Well, okay. Looks like uh, harvesting the crystal flowers is more or less the step that we need to take in order to get um, to the emery flowers, which might actually be a different name in this game. I'm not sure. Oops, don't get changed. Look inside. Nope. White and green uh, crystal flower seeds. We might actually need these. So, hello. Everything is going well. Uh, since the last episode, I went and joined a couple new Discord groups. There's this whole thing going on with, like, Magic Arena. Seriously, the stump grows inside the plant, right? But there's all these, like, fun little... Oh my god. Okay. That was a lot of stumps. Well, there are all these fun and cute little events going on, so figured, why not try to join them, right? Oh gosh, how long does this take to grow? 70 days. Screw it, let's stomp this stump. So I have red, I have white nice. growing, I have blue growing, fire flowers, I have rock. Huh. Nice. Autumn grass, blue crystal, so red, white, blue, golden turnip, golden pumpkin, golden cabbage, there's my green, fire flower. Autumn grass. I have all my stuff growing that needs to be growing. But, but do keep in mind that I have to actually harvest nice. one of these uh, blue crystal flowers. And probably also ship it out so I can start getting all the next stuff that I need. So all of that is bound to happen eventually. It's just going to take a little bit of time. No sleeping skill today. A bit of solo work is bound to do us a bit of good. I don't know what event is going on today. Eating contest at 11 a.m. Okay, cool. Also, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to trigger the next um, event. Something to do with Riker, but it's not, like, happening or anything. Lovely gold pumpkin. Autumn grass. I think I can just pick it up and harvest it directly, so let's do that. And everything else is getting closer and closer, so. I should throw some green on all of those fields for the record, just to make sure they're all, like, top line good. So let's see if I have some green to throw in there. Oh look, I've already shipped out some autumn grass, but I will ship out some level 10 autumn grass just so I've got it all shipped out. I haven't shipped out golden turnip seeds yet. Um, oh look, those have started to uh, degenerate. Okay, okay, what do I need? I guess we got a lot of generic stuff, but what do I need? Right, the formula stuff, whatever. I don't think I have any. Uh, yeah. I hope it comes out 
Okay. Okay, perfect. I might. Oh, oh, oh! Pumpkins at the ready. Yes. Pumpkins are ready to be to start getting shipped out now. In case it's a stat, you know how that works. Yes. All right, it's time to harvest the pumpkin patch. All right. Nice. All right. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. All right, well, my animals are working hard to make sure everything gets watered. I'm making oh, sure right. to harvest everything, and I'm going to get a bunch of skill points. Like, if I had the skill counter in the corner here, if, like I did in Rune Factory 4, you'd be seeing it going up like cray-cray right now. Also, my stats are going up. Like, look at that attack stat, 8366. It's going to oh, get right. higher. And a water can only run, this would be like a day to note. Yes. Getting all of the stats up like crazy is basically the only way to advance yes. in such a game. Which is why I want to do all of the Rune Factory games, like all of the games in the series, nice. one after another, water can only. Although I'm not entirely certain if all of the games have the same, uh, when you harvest you can yes. get random stat ups. Oh shoot, I didn't put all the pumpkins in. Yes. I neglected to pay attention to the time. But whatever. We're still gonna nice. ship out a ton of golden pumpkins. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, nice. Joined a new... What is it? Essentially... Yeah, a new magic community online that's supposed to be nice and fun. Right, these are most level 5 and 4 uh, golden pumpkins. I'm not sure if they can be used alone in any particular recipe. Probably not so much. Other than just a recipe that uses regular pumpkins, which would make them go down in value. Like, look at this. Already over a million. Oh, there's still more to go. I missed a couple. Wait a second. Why is this batch not being watered? I don't know why, but my tablet often does this weird thing where it's like, oh, your cursor is actually on, like, the far right side of the screen, holding down right there so you can't use your trackpad or the touch screen.
Go work, please. At some point, you got removed from field work. Not sure how that exactly happened. But you did. And I need Formula A. I need a couple of it. This will be fine. I wonder if I could put fodder in the that little bin. Oh, okay, I'll I'll show you once I get to it. Once it loads in, if it loads in, in this bin, the fertilizer bin. I don't think I can. How are you growing? How are you in growing? the ground. That's how they're growing. Crystal. How are you growing? There we go. There we do go. And now to harvest pumpkins from the fire dragon, because those should be grown as well. And hopefully my animals are there watering these, because I sure have not been. Okay, these are being watered, and they are nice. ready for harvesting. Uh-oh. Nice. Health is very low on a lot of these fields. I need to go to the store and buy myself just a bunch of corn. Big buy, big buy, yeah, that'll proceed. I need to go and buy myself like just a bunch of corn to start throwing into the sea fields. So yeah, it looks like that the emery flowers are not locked behind the bring everyone up to 10 friendship, thank goodness, and are in fact locked behind the harvest blue crystal flower. It's not directly behind the harvest blue crystal flower, there's a couple of other steps. Oh, you will, you know. Today's a festival! Yay! Today's a festival! Yay! Hey, you can I buy corn off of you, please? Today is the festival. Did I enter the store before 9 a.m., or is it just closed on today because there's a festival? Today is the festival. Today is the festival. <laughs> okay, well, I have her in my party now, but I can't buy any corn. So that means that the field is gonna go bad fast. We're gonna... The pumpkins are gonna be harvested today, whether it's by me or the monsters. They're going to get harvested. I don't have any corn in storage. I know that much for certain. And I don't have much in the way of grasses either. Actually, I do have quite a few in the way. Okay. We'll try to make this work out. And also, this weekend is my birthday weekend, so I've been, uh... Trying to arrange to do something fun for the weekend. So far my thought is to go to Tactile Magic, buy a box of Infinity, and just draft it, slash sealed it, whatever, do sealed, whatever. Do some Infinity Limited with someone. Uh, yeah, Kirian is busy uh, this weekend, so probably just, probably wind up doing it with Chandra. This only heals by like 60. 
And doing that only takes a little bit, but if I do this once for every plot of field. I'll soon put my attack with 8366. Now it's gone up by 6. Uh, health is 40. Whatever. I'll, I'll do this anyway. Heavy plotter field. I do still wish that I had uh, done a Let's Play series of Bugs Bunny and Taz nice. Time Busters with like just. Every single person I do a Let's Play with, talk them into doing one episode of that in addition to whatever other Let's Plays. Which I could start, right? Nice. Do an episode with Chandra, do an episode with Azura, do an episode with... I wanted to call her Emily, with Ellie. And do an episode... Where animals don't do well in the rain. I'm sorry, is it raining? Honestly, if blue-haired box lady here was a uh, romance candidate, I would be torn between her and the puppy. I don't know. It's like, not saying that I'm a fairy, but... I was gonna say it's like, but I do have a thing for wing, uh, for tails. But that's not actually true. I have a thing for wings. Wings are awesome. Tails are like whatevs. No, no, no! I'm a writer. I have a thing for tails. <laughs> Okay. See, I've been trying to... And also I've been trying to, uh... Yeah, I've been looking into getting some work done for a... Uh, for another sort of... Uh, Let's Play content that I wanted to do. Of just doing Magic the Gathering drafts slash sealed events. I don't know what it is about it. I've just been wanting to do Limited for a while now. On Tabletop Simulator. By going through like all of the sets of magic history. Just one at a time. Dog, get off of the pumpkin. There's a dog on my pumpkin, dear Liza. Dear Liza, there's a dog on my pumpkin. Dear Liza, a dog. Is this a dog and a fox on my pump? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I push the dog off of the pumpkin. Nice. 
I'm sure the eating contest can wait a couple of hours while I, you know, finalize tending to my fields and all of this, so it was such to talk about. I am potentially going to be doing a bit more magic content in episodes in the future. The current uh, list of Let's Plays is going to remain the same until one of these games, you know, ends. Uh, Evergate should be done in a couple of episodes because I'm... It really looks like I'm getting close to the end of the game here. One, two, three, four, five, six. To walk onto it in such a point that it does the press A to pick this up prompt, and that's when you can tell it. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. There we go. There we go. Easy does it. There you go. Look inside and ship off some more pumpkins. Perfect. Ugh, come on. And boof. That works. Big Bar Festival Grounds. So that's where the eating contest should be, right? Although I should save before doing it, just in case I lose. Right. So that's what I'm planning on is, hopefully I'm gonna be doing something this weekend as a celebration. Family should be back this weekend as well, so might wind up doing something with them. Playing some games, probably having cake there. As, uh, as much as I shouldn't be eating cake, because, hey, calories, been trying to, really been watching my calories lately, because, eh, I just once in my life where I'd like to be thin, you know? You know? Maybe. Um, Do. Hello, 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 all of you. Puppy! I aspire to take first place. I'm not really so happy to get to see you today. Have fun. Excuse me? Yeah. Time to tackle another day. I sure ain't holding anything back. Stay on guard. May the best ranger win. Get ready to laugh. You rang? 
Okay. Hello. Hello there. Still Hello. Working hard, I, I do like how different groups of people just like, you know, stand together and form today. groups. There's a festival today. Good work today. today. Looks like we have an exciting day. We should be in for an interesting day. We have a festival today. Hey, quit treating me Yo. like no kid. Any Hello. I'd love to know what you think of my weapons. Right, fascinating. Hmm. Is it not? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Right. Is something amiss? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. I have to go through the whole group conversation every time I talk to any of them. Biker. Hello. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Right. Yeah, maybe I haven't talked to Riker in a while, but it's like there hasn't been there haven't been any points on the map of saying like, oh hey, go here for the next event. Yeah, the map can keep going like so very far out. I'm I'm as zoomed out as it gets. Like I could zoom in. I could and it's like, I really thought that there'd be, like, a lot of places, like, all throughout the cloud. So, like, say, like, you go to a certain point in the game and, like, the clouds move away and reveal, hey, there's a whole other region of the map here to go and explore. And stuff, like, dungeon, 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 dungeon through the volcano. Again, the clouds move away to reveal another section of map sort of thing like that's what i was hoping for and that did not happen Sure, let's eat. So keep hitting the B button and just keep mashing it and just keep eating. Try to stay on the you same dish it. as much as possible. Go for it. Because moving around takes up some valuable Hang time. Keep at it. You've got this. Go for it. You mustn't give in. Have some fun with it. You can do this. Don't throw away your shot. Or to up, showed up for like a tenth of a Just second. A more. That was oh gosh. You can do this. You got this, I think. So close. Those corner traps are worth a pretty penny. I know we could have done better. Oh, I think I'm gonna get second. Thank you. Yep. I was like one B press away from getting another probably two thousand or so points. Man, what if I got second? What a mark! Congratulations! Congratulations! I'm getting stuck, right? 
feeling well? You're a brilliant ball of sunshine today. And you're just not taking part in anything involved in here. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> How do you do? I love you too. Um the stuff I got. Grow blowfish not shipped. Lance plus has been shipped, or I'll probably ship just ship it out again anyway. Hey look, more food. How much longer do I have to wait for this blue crystal flower? Growth rate is at 80%, so 70. Ugh. That's 80% of 70. So 8 times 70 equals 56 days out of 70, which means there's only about 14 days to go, so about 3 days to go at times 5 speed. It's only about three days to go before I can harvest a blue crystal flower. Not what it's going for. I mean, I get, like, I could just go and, like, sleep and let that be that. But instead, let's go and keep crafting more things you know I think I got armor pretty much all the way done right uh, armor I'm an our vest and then mercenaries cloak oh right I needed uh, big birds big birds comb I have big birds comb I need some strange tentacles Need to change tentacle for this thing as well. That's been shipped out. I also need crimson fur. So it's found on Medusa, and I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen strange tentacles. I'm going to need 14 of these. Ba 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 ba. Wait, shoot, nope. Marvelous news. You finally arrived. <gasps> okay, fourteen of these. So I'm done with this again. Do more let's plays of stuff. Probably do another run through of a dungeon of Dark Cloud, cause oh my gosh, yes. Going to finally, yeah, gonna do the entire shipwreck dungeon, I guess, and also work on the, on that angel gear, whatever slingshot that I have, get that up to max stats. Basically just rely on that slingshot to go through oh, much of the rest of the game. Okay, not giving me anything now, but... anyone needs help I'm sure people do yeah whenever I play a game that gets like quite a few episodes you know more than like say like 10 or more episodes or heck when I start playing a game sometimes I always have to ask myself like okay is this going to be like yeah is this going to just go up as a weekly thing or should I save this for a new month and do this as uh, you know 
semi daily game. I'm sure I can get more of this later. And the answer to that, I suppose, is does this have. Will this have at least 15 episodes? Because if the game winds up with 15 episodes, then I could do it every other day and just have that be a month, you know, have that be a semi-daily video for a month. 15 slash 16, and it's just like, okay, one month of semi-daily, do this as a specialty thing, whatever, no big deal. Welcome back. And just have that, you know, be itself, be a thing, whatever. And then, of course, but, like, because 15 episodes weekly, that's a couple of months worth of that day. Uh, but if I'm just starting a game and I don't know what it's going to be for, then it could be awkward having to go through and record multiple sessions of it because 15 episodes I can't just do that in one day anymore I have my upkeep stuff to uh, watch out for and that takes out the amount of time that I can just be sitting in one place doing one thing also the chair I'm using for computer gaming is not as comfortable as the chairs that I used to use I used to be able to just game on the couch those were the days Oh gosh, bring the couch into the bedroom to do that. Honestly, I'm very much tempted to move my secondary monitor to the far end of my dresser here. Just so I'd be able to do uh, Room Factory Let's Play while I'm doing like my air drying. And just, yeah, you have to kind of lie there for like an hour anyway. And I guess since I have to warp anyway, I might as well return back home and then warp back into here. Warp right back, as one does. So some like the Dark Cloud Minimum Dungeon Run, I figured, yes, this will take me at least 15 hours. <laughs> More than 15 hours. I'm already, how many videos am I into it already? Uh, I can't actually see that. Like, however many episodes I'm in. It's been taking me quite a while already. Look, episode 21 just got aired, so yeah. Sorry, it takes me quite a while. So, if I did, you know, the Dark Cloud Minimum Dungeon Entry Challenge as a weekly video, 21 episodes, not even quite halfway through if I count post game content. That could very easily wind up taking like a year. However, speaking of stuff like that, uh, Frosthaven, if that ever comes out, that as well would likely be over a hundred yep. over a hundred episodes, but I might actually have to do that as a weekly thing. Just because for tabletop recordings, especially with what I'm planning to do with Frosthaven, that's likely going to take a long time and I will not burn myself out by doing that as a daily upload, as a semi-daily upload. 
I refuse to burn myself out by putting that much effort in on a daily basis. That much effort even on a weekly basis might still burn me out. But putting that much effort, all those hours in for a daily basis for that, will burn me out just so much. So 2023 and 2024 are probably all going to be like... I'd imagine, say, Sundays? Just Sundays at noon. Just. Just solid frost even. Probably a, yeah, very probably a good two years. Probably more than a solid two years. I have to finish the Aeons and Legacy of Gravehold, uh, all that editing stuff. I'm just seeing that my computer not doing much. I should probably work on that a bit. But I'm glad I did that little project because that has taught me a bit of how to make the stuff work. It is quite the process to remove the background audio from videos, which is why I don't do it for most of my videos. But the background audio of the tabletop recording video was absurd. It was so bad and so distracting that I learned how to do the process and I went through it. And I'm going to do it for all of the episodes of it. Uh... Like, you could hear the traffic off, like, the busy street outside, and, like, sometimes there'd be people fighting in the parking lot right outside my window, and like, you could hear them. Like, you probably could still hear them even when I try to move the background noise, because voices aren't background noise, uh, so as far as so much. So I tried to remove it, but I did what I could. Removing all of the... What? Non important stuff of the video? It's a simple enough process that I used to do back in my vlogging days. Gosh, at this way I'm gonna get all of the 14 strange tentacles very easily. Heck, I should have kept that crystal. I really thought I was going to get more. Watch, I'm going to get all 14 of the tentacles. I'm going to... Yeah, it really seems like Rune Factory 5 kind of pushes the switch to... Uh, kind of really pushes the switch at times it does stuff like this. So, yeah, there's stuff going on. Whatever. Joined a nice Discord server, talking about magic, hoping to play some magic, looking to do more tabletop gameplay stuff. Uh, still somewhat looking into uh, what exactly I'll do with Frosthaven once that comes out. I know I want to let's play it. And I am definitely I'm estimating, for far, far I'm definitely far. estimating like a hundred plus episodes for it. Heck, it could be more. It could be like a four solid years of weekly Frosthaven. Because a year is 52 weeks, so a hundred episodes is almost two years worth of weekly videos. That could just be a thing. And I could be like completely done with Frosthaven and still have another like nine months worth of uploads to go through. Screw it, I'm keeping it. 
keeping it because that needs to be shipped. I mean, hey, these two wanted to be uh, part of my little group, so I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. They wanted to pal around and stuff, so I just let them. Um, yeah, I will say, if I was going to do Frosty, even like just like a normal let's play, and just hit record, play through, play for an hour, stop recording. And just that, I could totally do that as a semi-daily thing. No problem. It would be easy. However, one, while playing, especially on a tabletop game, I have to, like, pause and do stuff, like bring out resources and whatnot, because the game's not a computer game, it won't do it for me. So, like, playing a hands on Legacy, it's like, oh, go open up this deck. Oh, set up the shop. Oh, do this. Oh, do that. I'm going to have to do all that stuff myself. Uh, so there is going to be a lot of times, a lot of places in the episode where either A, it just cuts to me like sounds of digging through a box going, okay, where's those cards? Where are those cards? Or B, I have to go into editing and cut those parts out. Uh, Let's so that's the first adventure. part. There's lots of parts to be cut out when playing, like, tabletop game. Second, the audio. As mentioned before, background audio in that room, very uh, noisy, very disruptive. This, there's, like, a constant buzz. Like, not just a soft buzz, a constant buzz. Through the entire thing, had to cut that out. And that takes, that takes a bit of time as well. Not actually quite a deal breaker, just for that though. Yeah. I, I could work with that. I could cut out the audio, like cut out the uh, dead parts, cut out the audio. Could do that like every day. I could do that. Someone wants my attention on Discord. I got a notification. What's going on, my Discord friends? I just turned my computer on this morning, so stuff like Discord wasn't on yet, so it has to start up. It's taking a few minutes, that's weird. What of writing the middle is that I get to the end. That's fair. I'm on a writing-based Discord server, where people can like post questions and stuff, and people can answer questions and all that and yesterday I posted a question of this like how do you convince yourself to write through a story when you already know how it's going to end and you just want to write Are the ending prepared? because recently I started doing a roleplay with someone where from right from the beginning I already have a brilliant idea for how to end the entire thing and it's like i just want to like show off my brilliance in writing just by jumping to the end and being all ha i thought of this isn't that remarkable but the ending is only valuable if you get through the whole story first otherwise it's basically meaningless you have to care about the characters you have to want this for them so you have to go through the whole thing so I'd have to write the whole thing. I can't just jump to the end. It's like, how do you motivate yourself to write the story when you just want to write the ending? And for some reason it turned into, oh, if you're writing fan fiction about someone's stuff, you have to be careful. And it's like, I write fan fiction on, based like from my own stuff. Spin-off series, as uh, someone pointed out that they should be called. I parody my own works. I'm, I'm a fan of my own stuff. I like the characters. I want to see them interact and do stuff more. Oh my gosh, more viscous liquid. Let's go on an adventure. But anyway, yeah. 
So all of that stuff with Frosthaven, with a tabletop game, I could do that on a semi-daily basis. It would be very annoying to do, and I wouldn't want to do it for more than a month, let alone, you know, a hundred or so episodes. But I could do that. I could do, you know, I'd have to do, what, one episode every other day? I could do a couple of episodes a day, get that going. I could do all that. I did not want to do it with uh, Anne's Zen Legacy of Gravehold because I knew that, that that it wouldn't necessarily surpass the uh, total number of episodes for a month worth. And true enough, I think it only got like 13 episodes. And I needed a weekly time slot anyway, so I just like, nope, do it for this. Put it in as a weekly slot. I think I had something just outside the door. Oh, hello, cat. Are you okay? Yeah, you look fine. So, uh, yeah. But, however, for Frosty, remember, I want to do even more with it. I want to write it out, like, as a story. Have my own, like I was just saying, I like making fanfiction, aka spinoffs, aka whatever, with my own characters. So I want to write it as my own story, with my own characters. Using, you know, Frosty even mechanics and overall plot. Throw my own twist on stuff. Make it really my own. Which means, not only will writing take longer, because I have to, you know, you look happy. I have to pause for at basically every single turn to write out what happens. Hi, Cinnamon. So yeah, not only will I have to pause, like, every single turn to write out the stuff that happens, but I'll also have to pause... Uh... But I'll also have to basically rip out the entire audio altogether, so won't even record any audio. I don't even have to record any audio. I wonder if anyone so, needs help. The audio, yeah, don't even record the audio, but instead just have it be a voiceover of myself reading the story that I've written while I was playing it. So I'll have to somehow make sure that, you know, the uh, voiceover work that I do winds up being a proper hour long. Which, by itself, is going to be very difficult to do. But I can kind of cheat on that. I can... I can, I can make that work. But it's just like a whole bunch of little clips, I guess going on like Audacity or something, clean out the background audio of every last clip that I do. Every last line. Fix all of that up. I mean, here's the question. Do I want like a hundred voice audio clips or do I just want one? I think just one. Yeah, write out the whole thing to just read it all out as a story. Uh, read it into Audacity. Clean out the background audio there. I just kind of more or less try to make it work with what I've got uh, facing me. So that's, like I said, it'd be like six hours of work per episode. I don't want to do that every day. I really don't want to do that every day. Hello, Cinnamon. Yeah, could I do it while I'm doing my daily upkeeps? Probably not. Because if I'm lying down like I have to be to do the upkeeps, doing voice work is not going to be so easy. 
can't write the story while I'm doing the upkeeps because I have to be writing the story while it's happening so it's as fresh as possible in my mind. Imagine if this story winds up somehow... Ah, Bubby! Imagine if the story winds up somehow getting like super popular. And it's like... Would I get in trouble because I use, you know, someone else's idea with like my own characters and such? I don't know. But like people publish their like D&D adventures even if there's modules in them, right? Change up enough of the words to make it more so unique and all that. I think I could really make this work. But again, Frosty isn't even out yet. If it doesn't come out with the next two months, that's also another thing. I don't have to start uh, uploading the episodes as soon as Frosty even comes out. If I can get it by mid-December, that's the plan. If I can get the game by mid-December, then I can start work on everything and get like an early start and if i can get like you know five or six episodes early yeah if i can be like a couple of episodes ahead i can just not really have to worry about it. i know that i'm going to want to just play a bunch of fast even and heck there is a chance there is a very darn well real chance that I might just do all of the recording basically at once and just finish all of Frosthaven uh, before any of the episodes actually come out like at all. Just finish all of Frosthaven, get all the story part written, get all of like, you know, the video part recorded. And then you have all of that done before I actually, you know, do any of the voiceover stuff. That would be quite a bit to work with. Cause I mean, yeah, if it gets out, if it gets here in mid-December, if I have two weeks to play it, considering that I'll want to be playing it effectively non-stop, yeah. It could very well be that I just do that. That I record all of it at once. Get all of the recording, get all of the gameplay part done and the story fully written. I guess I'll put it up on like Wattpad or something while I write. And just have both the YouTube video and the Wattpad linked to each other. And just, uh, yeah, chapter by chapter. As the uh, video comes out, the Wattpad will come out as well. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, okay, then. Again? I might. Well, it looks like we're out of uh, rune points here, but we're not. We don't quite have all of the uh, stuff that we need, huh? So I think that's a good point to end this episode. We're at about an hour mark. Fighting against some jellyfish. Hoping to get some strange tentacles. Ugh. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the Frosthaven stuff. I'm looking forward to writing more. I'm looking forward to playing more games. Might be able to find 
some people on this uh, Magic server who might be interested to do Let's Plays of other games because there's quite a number of streamers. If you play one game, you might be more tempted to play other games. At the very least, might be able to grab some people from there to do uh, Magic streams slash Let's Play of drafting various Magic sets. I'm thinking do two episodes for each set. One will be the draft or building the deck, whatever, itself, and then one for the gameplay. I'm thinking if I can get four people in total, including myself, we all draft it together, and then we all play four-player game instead of doing... Because we could do two, like, one-on-one -on -one and one-on-one. -on -one. Like, we could do it, like, round-robin style or whatever. You know... A versus B, C versus D, then winner of A versus B versus the winner of C versus D. Or we could just have A versus B, then A versus C, then A versus D. And just play against each other's decks. But I think just a four-player game each time. So you can see it's like, oh, I passed up on that uh, World Slayer Dragon. And I can see that it's going to bite me in the behind for it. So looking forward to doing some of that. That might be a thing. Still going to uh, get the games done that I'm currently working on. Uh, Necessary, I'm... Necessary, I'll probably do... Yeah, Necessary, I'll continue going on, even though that's a Friday video. But, yeah. Going to continue working on stuff. Evergate should only have a few more episodes left. I really need to just sit down and play through all of the rest of the game at some point. So, anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this. I am looking forward to stuff to do in the future. Uh, if you have recommendations of games that I should play or games I should get back to and finish, that would be great. No, I'm not going to be able to finish Slay the Spire. That's kind of the point. But am I going to get back to it to uh, do new mods of it? Probably not. But if you do know any cool, awesome mods of Slay the Spire that basically break the game open or like new characters that you think I'd really be into... Heck, post them in the comments. I'll check them out. If they seem like my sort of stuff, sure, I'll do some more episodes of Slay the Spire. That game was awesome.